Welcome back. Aha, uh-huh, straight back into it. Yeah. Oh, Keenan, you're you're on white screen now, right? I'm on still. We got you're on Ethan. still. Oh, Ethan. nice. I'm on still. Ethan's but still. 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 From hit the end. Hit, 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 hit the music. Let's get through. Let's get through. <laughs> hey, yo, say less. I actually almost forgot that we did that. At yeah, all. turn Ethan's mic up for a second. There we go. I say hi, Ethan. Hello, everyone. <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> sound like him at all. <laughs> lost, lost property, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. We've got Ethan and Hudson just behind the cameras and stuff. Yeah, and so. Bloggy's on the mez currently deep in like Bloggy sphere. Yeah, I looked up and his eyes were very wide, and he was staring at like patterns, and he was like. <laughs> So we're not disturbing him. We've got Ethan pressing the three buttons that it takes to record this podcast. Mm-hmm. So hopefully it's all good. Also, apologies, because you guys probably want training videos on YouTube, but we don't do that anymore. <laughs> just <laughs> 10 questions or this, and I haven't edited 10 questions. There will weeks. be training coming out. Um, speaking of Ethan, is his mic still on? Yeah. Ethan, your video is probably one of my favorite videos I've watched in a long, 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 oh long time. Hazel. When, but when's it coming out? Uh, after Soul. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. So basically, hurry the fuck up so we can get that out because that's wicked. Very yeah. good video. Got yeah, video. you've seen it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he yeah, showed yeah, me. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah, there's a, there's a video coming from Ethan that uh, did Noah film it all. Yeah, yeah. Mostly Noah. A couple. Yeah, Hudson filmed the clip. Yeah, uh, it's fucking such such a good video. Yeah, it's really really sick. Pretty cool. It, Thank you. Obviously, Kevin's here. Hi. But we do, I feel like we've got these like young. We've got Hudson, who we spoke about a few weeks ago, who organised the discourse. Discourse. Discourse yeah. jam. I thought it was Discord jam. <laughs> Little creative yeah. fucking entrepreneur, age 13. And then obviously Ethan, he's very talented. So we've, we've got a room full of potential and, and talent. And for some reason, we're interviewing the guy who we've already interviewed. Probably the most boring. Album, I know. Right? It's a, we're only... <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. <laughs> and normally, normally when people are like, oh, can we do a podcast? Can we do a podcast? It makes me not want to do a podcast. Yeah, yeah. Because I like it when we've got a topic. Yeah, yeah. But... But you've done something very cool recently. So. Yes, we have a topic. Yeah, we yeah. have a topic. Yeah, speak us through what just happened. Like, is it was it a week ago? Yeah, it was a week, uh, a little bit more, a week and a half ago. Mm. And uh, yeah, it was the Keep a Street Jam, the first one, and went really, really well. You were there. Mm-hmm. You I liked wasn't. it. It was so sick. It was kind of like had a similar vibe to if people were being to own the spot, kind of similar to that, but enough difference because it was it was Keeper and like the street comps and stuff like that. I felt like it was very social, which was really, really nice. Mm. Most like, jams are social. Like they're yeah. more social than training, but I felt like there was a good mix here. Yeah, for a street jam as well, like I thought more people would split up because there's just so many of us, but we man- I feel like everyone managed to stay in one group for the most part, which is really good. And just- yeah, and also people don't know their way around Stockholm, so they, like, they, they can't really split up without like looking up spots, and so, so everyone just stayed at the same place, mm-hmm. uh, which was really cool. Can we roll this back slightly? Yeah. Because I obviously wasn't there. Yeah. Um, so I know. first jam that Kipper have done? Like, yeah. yes. have you Stop even done a jam that was just one day before? No, no, never. We've That's not sick. done anything. I like feel this. like it's already been kind of classed as probably one of the best events of the year from what I've heard. Oh, it was 100% yeah. up there. So like, I'm sure everyone's excited for next year. I was having a poo, so I wrote down four <laughs> lines, which is logistics, expectations, what led to it being success- so successful and advice. But I guess w- why... Did you decide to run them one? What were your initial plans? It felt like you had quite a lot, not like over the top planning, mm. but like you had set spots for each day and you were very good at being on Instagram because I just followed it through stories and yeah. you were like, we're here, this is happening here, blah, 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 which I think probably helped keep it organized on the day. Yeah. But what do you think you did prior to the event that got so many people out there? I don't really know. Like we, we, <laughs> we didn't do that much work before. Like we, we, we had scouted, like obviously it's our city, so we know our spots, but we scouted out which ones are like big enough for, uh, you know, we were thinking like 50 people were going to come and then it turned out to be like over a hundred. So we were thinking out like big spots where we could set challenges and we wanted to start off at the red walls, which is like the most iconic spot of Stockholm. And we had some problems there with like the, the residents. So we tried to, we try to keep it kind of like the first day there. So if we get kicked out, it's fine. We, we're not going to come back. Um, but yeah, it wasn't that much planning into the event. We I made a spot map on Google Maps so everyone could follow where the spots were. And uh, we did a poster. We asked 
Did you sell tickets? Was it free? We it was free for the jam because we don't want to sell tickets to a street jam. Yeah. But we offered accommodation at Street Mentality, which is a gym in Stockholm. Uh, okay, so you planned that bit, like. Yeah, we asked yeah. them and just needed. We were just waiting like for two, two, three weeks for like an okay from them, like uh, that we can stay there because obviously it was the refugee situation from uh, Ukraine was kind of yeah, like yeah. weird. So, but we managed to figure it out. Um, and as soon as we got the green light, we sold the tickets like the next day and we had 35 tickets and 15 athletes invited. So we could be 50 uh, people in the gym. It could yep. definitely host like a hundred, but they said like 50 was the limit. So we kept it at a 50. Um, and yeah, it was really cool. We sold tickets for like 25 euros for like two nights just to be able to pay the gym back. And then all of the rest of the money went into, um, like paying for the shipment of products, which sponsors like, uh, so it okay. all went back. Like it was a plus minus. We didn't make any money. Of the Did events. you provide any like food or anything? No, no, nothing. No. It's, it's really interesting. Energy drinks. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. yeah. We got uh, a Swedish company called Naya to send us like 12 crates of energy drinks and they were gone the first day. Of course. They're really yeah. good though. And they're strong as fuck. And yeah. I saw people- Hudson probably drunk fucking four of them. Yeah, it didn't have any dude. <laughs> but like, people didn't realize they were like really strong energy drinks. So I saw like a guy coming up to me like 6 p.m. He's like, dude, this is so good. I'm like, you're not gonna sleep. Yeah, man. yeah. Like, the DK you're, effect you're, when he's just drinking like Red Bull <laughs> in, in Greece, it's like 10 p.m. He's drinking a Red Bull and you're like, what are you wow. doing? Wow. Man, no, no, nothing after three for me. I've got way better energy yeah. drinks though in Sweden. They're quite good, yeah. That's why we Just wanted to get a Swedish company. They don't as well. feel as dirty. Mm. <laughs> no, a lot they of the feel English a little bit fresher. Really, yeah, shredding yeah. your inside to like yeah. battery acid. Yeah, yeah. I just had one and it was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You had some mental thing. It looked like a transformer on the can. <laughs> oh, did you finish it? I poured some of it out actually. What brand was it? Sorry, you've oh, had coffee, man. Yeah, I've had. It. I've had. Um, but yeah, there wasn't that much planning into the event uh, at it, all. It's kind of, it's, it's sick. Cause it's like, I think if I was to say, oh shit, I want to host an event, I'd get kind of stressed and be like, oh, well, if we're going to do accommodation, then I need to be thinking, cause it's like for the love movement of set a standard from yeah. organized events. And I'd be like, oh no, we've got to do food and health and safety. Mm. But it's like, I guess you don't have to do all those things. Like it seems no. like you did a really good benchmark of like an initial jam. I think people don't have to, like, I think most people could take care of themselves. We had a limit of like 15, you have to be 15 to stay in the gym. Yeah. Just because that's like the age where you're, you can take care of yourself in Sweden by like law. Uh, okay. So if you're under 15, we have to take care of you. But if you're over or 15 over, you know, we don't have to take care of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we just informed everybody, like we're turning off the lights at this time. We'll wake up, wake you guys, wake you guys up with like music like normal stuff, but it wasn't what, like- what, what was your wake up song? It was different every day. The first day we wake had like up, a bunch of- <laughs> No, we had a bunch Off. of politicians come in the first day. Cause they, they were Did coming- politicians? Yeah, they were like having a meeting in the gym. So we were in actually supposed- to, Why? Not in the gym, but they were discussing the future of the, the gym, like the whole area where the gym is. That's like a whole sports hall. Yeah. And they came in and like, we were supposed to be out before they came in, but we were everyone was still um, packing up yeah, their stuff. Yeah, classic parkour. But they man. thought it was actually really great because they saw so many people in the gym. So yeah, they were discussing the future. We I just needed know, to keep what? it clean, which at, we at did. At the same yeah. time, like system of a down, like wake up, wake up, <laughs> just playing. Like. No, we, we, we played like a really Swedish song that morning. And then the second day we played uh, Lord of the Rings. Nice. Na, 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 yeah. You know, and then uh, I don't remember the third day. I think it was like Hugo put on like, um, Lord of the Rings again, but it was like the theme of Urukai. So it was just super fucking intense war music. <laughs> wow. If yeah. anyone hasn't been to any parkour events or at least European ones, there seems to be, I don't, I guess it maybe started a fellow love movement, but over the PA, it's like you always get hit way too early with a horrible song. It's normally Wiz Khalifa Wake Up. I hate that song yeah. so much. Actually makes me feel da, sick. Na, na. Yeah, That's when you like just, that first bit you hear, and, and he's like, like, "No, uh, but I thought it was like two. Yeah, the middle of the night. Awful. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, most people camped. Yeah, like, yeah. Those people, people showed people up camped. and was just like, especially all the Brighton community. Where? Just wherever they forest, could. Like just, in Sweden, you can camp wherever you want. Oh, but forest, sick. or sometimes they like roughed it just in random places, yeah. and yeah. they just seemed fine with that. I, I thought that kind of that element disappeared from parkour a while ago, but mm. it was good to see. To see, yeah. see it back. I feel sure like not. Sweden and Norway are like good places to do that. I feel yeah. like I don't think you could like be like, oh, event in, in London, London and then just camp. Guys, randomly. you've got to go and rough it. Like, yeah. No, that's way harder. Or like Maidstone or something. It'd be a bit savage. If there was like a cool camping spot, mm -hmm. you can maybe do it. Yeah. Um, who who out of the the keeper guys was like? I feel like you were pretty probably admin. -y keeper I can things. say Kevin was probably. Yeah. 
top man for that sort of yeah. stuff. I am the Adam. We spoke about that on the last podcast. But yeah. it's just like how it works, really. And we know our kind of positions and we know our strengths and weaknesses. You and found that. I, I, this is what I do, you know. Yeah, you like you like didn't get too stressed or anything. Mm -hmm. I do get stressed, but like I kind of thrive off of stress yeah. to a certain extent. And I really, I do, I do enjoy stress. It makes me like pursue something harder. I hear the other day? It was um, pressure is a privilege. Because mm. mm -hmm. if it, well, if it's good pressure, you know, if it's something that you enjoy yeah. doing and you've put some pressure on yourself, in some ways it's a privilege because it's like you, you're in a cool position. Like you're doing yeah. something that you, you're striving to do and it's like, it's a privilege. Definitely. Um, sick. Yeah. Cause I mean, what, like, so like a hundred people fucking turned up. Yeah. And about then a hundred, maybe a little bit more, 20 different countries, which is really cool. Mad. Yeah. We counted and it was like 20, 20 plus, like 21, 22, something like that. How much time prior to announcing it did you, no, to, to, to the event, did you announce it? I don't know. I don't remember. Like, Probably I mean, like a month and two months, some, yeah. something and around. how much time two, before one. you announced it did you start planning it? Uh, like three weeks before we announced it. So it's not been like, and it's not like we were sitting down every now and then. We like, or like every day and like, oh yeah, this needs to be done. It was just like, we want to do a jam. These are the spots. I've done the spot map. I've done the whole schedule, like somewhat schedule of the day. So we kind of just free balled it. Yeah, yeah. And then that was it. Like Sick. there was nothing more to it. And then we just waited until it happened. And the only thing that was like logistic was like printing shirts before the event. And I printed like 115 shirts in like two days Fuck. with front and back. So it was like 240 yeah, on, own, yeah, on my own. It was just like first day was 12 hours yeah. of just printing. It I printed from, 12, <laughs> printed from 12 PM to 1 AM. Yeah. And then I went to bed and I got up at like, and I was leaving the next day for Stockholm. Oh, wow. So I was starting printing at nine and I was done like around 12. Did you sell them? Or? Yeah, we sold them. We sold yeah. like 80 of them, but we, we were just going to sell the rest on the website. But uh, we're still getting some, um, I'm still waiting for like some product photos. Why the, is it blueberries? Yes, blueberries. Why? Uh, and what's on the back? It's a bear. A bear. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, uh, it's supposed to represent spring. It's designed by Lester. Oh, sick. So Lester drew it and uh, vectorized it and everything. So it's supposed to like represent spring and kind of how Swedish community is forced to hibernate during the winter and kind of uh, come into gyms. So now we're sick. coming out of it. So that's why it's called dehibernate, which I don't think is an actual word. I didn't even know that was, it was called that, but that's cool. But that, yeah, no, it says, but you can't really read it if you don't have the shirt, like with, uh, you yeah, know, okay. it's like hard to see in, in movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, Makes yeah. sense with the fucking crazy, like day cycle or whatever you call it. Yeah. Like just, yeah, the sun going down not for that long in no. the summer. So I'm saying in the winter it must be fucked. What was it? Oh yeah. So what? What was well, the most days we'd be going like we'd be still out, and then the sun would start coming up, and it didn't even feel that late. It'd be like no, two we'd or be three. like uh, yeah. I mean that's Whoa. I was back yeah, at the gym really by weird. like twelve because I had to like take care of the people. But like the last day we had an after party, we we went to a lake. Yeah, that around looks sick. It's a cool Eleven, spot. and then we we left. Like we were sitting there. We sun came down we had a campfire everybody was dancing having a good time and then we get, went swimming and then eventually the sun's coming up and it's like yeah four four three in the morning wow yeah we left around six yeah it was I confusing saw, for knowing if it was sunrise or sunset a lot yeah. of the time yeah. it was really weird i saw the arts party was that just like you were just like we're gonna go meet at this lake yeah we had like a lake in mind that we were we were there once before when we were filming berlingo yeah it was like two years ago and we just yeah we we just decided that was a really good spot. And there were spot. no issues. Yeah, it I was just, really far to get there, but like we took a, a metro and then we walked like 20 minutes. So we just had everyone meet up. We were like, okay, meet up at this metro station at, fuck, was it 11 or something? And then like everybody was there and then they started walking together. So we guided them to yeah, the lake because yeah. it's quite hard to find it otherwise. It's it, good that you push for that though. I feel like if that was on our minds for a jam. You'd be like, I'd be like, oh, that seems pretty long. I don't know if people would be down for it. I think yeah, so everyone was so down. Everyone was down. <laughs> yeah. Most people were camping either way. So most people just went up the hill and slept up there. Yeah. yeah. I think we're so used to like in our area, it's obviously everything's a bit further. Like, yeah. It's not like yeah. Metro. It's like, yeah, there's no Metro. Trains, and buses in are just quite unreliable but sometimes. I, I, it's more like, I feel like if we in England took a hundred people to a random lake, Unless it was like, I don't know where, you know, in London, I think you went there with Sam and that lot. The oh like yeah, the res reservoir. Reservoir. So like that's obviously more like public space. Yeah. No, but I imagine like a lake around here, eventually someone would rock up and be like, get the fuck out of my lake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it was- Someone it's, would it's, own it. Like, it's, mm. Nobody owns that one. It's yeah. like a natural, like, res not a reservoir. It's like a- 
Nature yeah, because we have reservoirs, it, but even what, then, what's they, it called? When nature they, reserve or not? Yeah, reserves, kind of. So we just mm. made sure everything was clean. We put up trash bags on all the trees so people could throw their shit, and we made sure it was clean when we left. Yeah, that's sick. Take caring of the nature, you mm. know. So, such good <laughs> lads. Such good lads. You yeah. know. Warm water as well. Yeah, mm. fuck. Mm. So, <coughs> what... I was sat at home with my child. Yeah. Probably. probably Should have brought, brought, brought Daisy. Yeah. Sl- yeah. Fucking lobbed her in a backpack. What was your like thought process behind the comps? Because I found them oh, pretty yeah. sick. Yeah, so, so our idea so was- hype. <laughs> Was there one every day? Up? Yeah, there was like a multiple all day. Sick. So the idea was basically to have, um, to have small comps and like set challenges that we see people like, if we saw someone doing like something and it was okay by them, we would ask if we could set that as a challenge. So like Nico was doing this line, which was quite techie. And we asked if we could set that as a challenge. So we set it as a challenge. Well, so like try and copy Nico. And then yeah, every, if uh, the first p- person to get it would like win something from the sponsors. We had like a bunch of sponsors. Um, fuck, I gotta remember this by head now. We had you guys, we had Stora, we had Public, we had Street Media, we had Breach, we had Shoe Mentality, we had GFAM send us some stuff, which was really nice. Sick. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting pretty parkour. Yeah. Um, that is the good thing about the parkour community. It's so easy to just like, you send out a few messages. Like we give yeah. so many prizes out because a lot of them give, did we give you gift cards or product? Um, I don't recall which, either either way, like just having your name on it will be like a staple, yeah. which made the but Everyone's more, so receptive to so do th- it. Yeah, right. I think when we had like all those names, that's something that made more people come in because we had like everyone's name on it, yeah. like stores, motors, like the biggest brands in PK were Farang as well. Uh, and yeah, yeah. So everyone was on it, which meant like more people would see it as a legit thing. And Adam was there, right? And Adam yeah. was there and Voucher was there. Yeah, was that's really sick. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So they were selling stuff and they were just having a good time and yeah, making yeah. really good edits every yeah. day. Yeah. Like who, who did them? Uh, I think it was Anon. He probably came off the back of Red Bull and was like, I can knock things out in a day. Yeah. Like, like it was really cool to see. And we, I was, I felt so behind. I was like, we should be doing this. Yeah, that was almost like your, not your responsibility, but it's like, you know, if you if you were a much bigger organized event. It does event. feel like it, yeah. yeah. But we had a filmer, uh, we had my friend uh, Jonas come from like where I live. Like he came up with me to I Stockholm. Think I, I know Jonas, right? Yeah, 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 you've met him. And um, he's done some of the live stream stuff for mm. Airwip, like helped out. So he uh, he was up there filming with us, like for us basically. Yeah. But I mean, uh, Lester's still going to have to edit it all together. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is a bit of a hassle. Yeah, no, that's sick. Um, but yeah, sorry, going back to the comps that Keith yeah. was asking about. So we had multiple comps each day and they were like, not meant to be like big comps, just like small things like, oh yeah, first to hit this comp pre would win this or whatever. But then we kind of- Did you win anything, Keith? Too scared. Too scared. <laughs> I did shit after the comp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, every time, every time. <laughs> the comp was out, like, he started like looking at the setup. It's like, why? <laughs> but yeah, no, it was really fun. And we, at first day we had, went to this playground and we kind of just decided to do a big trick setup, which was really fun. That uh, was so it's fun. It's a yeah, really, watch. really weird so setup. Fun. Like people didn't really consider it a thing at all. Cause there's like a better, it was, bit it smaller worked. setup. It's like to have a little Did bolt. you see, yeah, yeah. Did you I see saw Sora's yeah. video? No, I haven't actually watched it. Yoel was just, the double side. Yeah, Wait, it's like Joel's gonna set to, an example now, yeah, and then he just does a just to show it. And <laughs> yeah, just first try, just double side lands it. Amazing. Yeah. So Ridiculous. we had like a really good time, and uh, it's just the first day was kind of hard to get the comp going because people were you know scared. Comps are hard. So like, me and Joel were stuck, kind of just going back and forth, like doing some tricks. It's and hard to get throwing people stuff. to sort of get into that hypey mood. Yeah, it's also like Joel set the standard with like a perfect double side. So how many people wants to go right right after that? Yeah, I, it's yeah. hard to say. Who did the double front? Ebba, Ebba is our friend from like Northern Sweden. It was like ridiculous. The, how such a saw that, yeah. yeah. Double front, just like yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah really, sick. really cool guy. Travis did like punch back off the thing, right? Uh, yeah, off of the was that in the thing. comp or not? No, that was afterwards. He uh, did side up, then ginger fall. Yeah, which is, and he won. Oh, so and then he, oh he won. He gave his prize. He gave his prize to Ebba. I think yeah. he already had a store vest, so he gave it. He's to also Ebba. like. Travis is nice. Yeah, like that. Nice. I feel like he do that anyway. <laughs> Travis is nice. Um, no, so dick. that was day one and day two we had, um, we ended at like, um, 
the this, railing to the two walls, right? Yeah, the rail. Like it's not. A, yeah, there's a railing, but there's a wall, and then uh, there's like yeah, two yeah. walls. Yeah, because you uh, did that big. Such it's a the cool best, spot. best I, combo. So it just lo- looks cool. And you did that yeah. big Kong free, right? They're like uh, further along. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People yeah. were bashing that. So, so though, like so. Yeah, yeah Venda were flying through it. Venda Benda. Yeah, he was the guy. He first, did it I first, it. and like that was the first time anyone has done it from that side of the railing. Really? Uh, yeah. So okay. he he broke it and then went straight into like trying to do it to a double side. Good for him because that opened it up for so many people. Is that the same one you did? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I saw. That and I was like, that's quite it looks like it has a good bit of air time. It's it's like not too bad, it's just more like the height of it, and it is kind of like down enough, but and you weird. still have to run at it and weird it's blind. Well, yeah, it's like metal top, yeah. which is actually all right. You just gotta But yeah, and then uh, so we had yeah. best uh combo there. That's yeah. why Mikesh won because he had like the sick he did, did reverse pre and, yeah, then and then 360 and then one Rudy, of his preps was sick and, though. And the Rudy was r- the wrong way for him. He's just started learning doing it that really? way because usually Fucking he does it the hell. other way. Yeah, because he has like a weird spin thing. Like sometimes he does left, yeah. sometimes he does right. He's so I thought great. it looked like a different spin for him. Yeah, so it was like a That's month so of crazy. just trying the, that side, which was really cool. And There's then one. we went to the gainer spot where yeah. Matar yeah. did the gainer. Yeah. Fucking hell. Uh, it was just like sightseeing. It was really cool. Like I, everyone I, went there, looked at it. And then there was, we noticed his feet left such a dent in the ground. They're still like there. This deep into the grass. So everyone like kind of stepped up, put their feet in the <laughs> holes, looked up the wall, just went, yeah. Just imagine and that. then like kind of went away. And then did you go there, Keen? I never oh, saw okay. it. At one point there was like a whole line to stand with your foot in the uh, holes, which was really That's funny. so funny. Yeah, like so tall. That, yeah. After, yeah. that afternoon, uh, you know, I'm just on Instagram and I'll scroll through and it was like, I swear there were just maybe five or six different people who basically all had the same story of just yeah. like, yeah, I'm at this place and it's fucked. Like, yeah. Just, just showing it off. Um, it's a cliff dive. Yeah. yeah. It's like, really, really, it's fucked. So, um, it was the first time me seeing it as well. So I climbed up there and I was like, nah. <laughs> Would you even, is it scary even standing up there? It's just like so said, high. I like you it's so you know when it's like high, so you can't really judge how high it is. Yeah. yeah. It's that high. Beyond that point. Free falling yeah. a bit. Yeah. You? Yeah. To gain her as well. Yeah, and then third day we had um, we had uh, some other competition. We also had a women's competition uh, on the second day. We had like a setup that was set by Rachel and fuck who else set it? It was Rachel and I think some of the story guys helped out to like make it a little bit more difficult because the first bit was just too easy uh, mm-hmm. eventually. So Rachel, Elise, we had like all the women like set a good challenge together, Sick. which was really cool. And yeah, not, almost all of them tried it, which was really cool. And everyone was supportive. So it's that really good bit in the star video. Cause I you know, the, the staircase. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was really cool. We, so um, really cool. we should mention actually hmm? the, uh, it women's this girl jam? jam. Yeah. This girl jam, uh, Saturday 2nd, which is a couple of days time and it's in, uh, Sheffield. So if it's, it's all over Instagram, but if, if I'll put this out tonight, but if you haven't seen it, I'm sure you probably already have, but yeah, this girl jam, it's, uh, uh, women, girls, non-binary. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's exclusive, but it's, I think that's obviously the aim. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, go nice. basically. Very cool. Um, what was I going to say? What advice would you, I mean, see, seeing that that went so well, what do you want to do with jams? I mean, do you want to do like, you know, multiple jams or are you just like, let's do another one next year? We want to do, we want to start by doing one next year and then like, cause the thing it, it, even though it is like not that time consuming to plan it, it is like a month, you know, yeah. and we do want to do more videos rather than do more events. Cause yeah. we're like, we don't want to act as a, uh, Cause jump free run, like they've done some cool videos, but mo- their primary thing is like for the love. It's the gyms and the events. Yeah. yeah and um, I mean, I remember speaking to Mark and he said that they pretty much the second they finish uh, when they were doing the summer one and the winter mm-hmm. one, they would finish one and start and immediately one. be like, cool. What do we learn? What are we implementing for the next one? And they'd already be like, you know, building lists and yeah. starting phone calls and stuff. Yeah. So, so not- we're, we've already started looking at like new places to go. Um, cause we're we're thinking uh, we're like we're looking into have it in, in other countries as well to make mm. it more accessible because Stockholm, Sweden, it's a little bit expensive. The good thing is you can sleep outside anywhere, you know, uh, and it's very legal. Like you're not gonna get in trouble for it. Yeah, it's a really cool place. The sun's out for very long, you know, so it is like ideal setup. But we also are looking into having it in other yeah cities or countries, even you know. Sick. Mm-hmm. What advice would you give for like? Because we, we we always talk about doing jams and things. I think something that we've been discussing a little bit recently is just like doing more sorry <laughs> like what was that i was about to sneeze and then it just uh-huh. didn't work sneeze, so that, <coughs> sneeze that fucking boohoo yeah. out your nose <laughs> has anyone commented on that yet like you know your nan or something mean like Rah! no family are probably gonna 
a bit weird about. And they're not seen it yet. No, my parents and stuff, but just extended family. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I think it suits you. Yeah, I think it's fine. I like it. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, what, what, are bo- it's fine. what are bogeys like? And they're not like. Yeah, I feel to, like they keep attaching to. You're it trying to get here. your fingers round. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. Completely. <laughs> <off topic. laughs> what were we saying? No. Yeah. I think what I keep thinking, I kind of want to do a bit more with Motus, is just, and it's so fucking easy to do, and I don't know why we've neglected it. Is just going like, and we we might do one really soon. It's just going like, we're hosting a jam here in this town. Yeah, and no more planning than that. Just say mm. at eleven o'clock we're meeting here. That's all it takes. I um, think they set that example. Yeah, well. I know you planned it out and stuff, but yeah, we it, probably wouldn't go in as hard as what you did. But like, yeah, one just just uh, getting people together is enough. It's like, one day I fucking thing. enjoy just you, being. You with have to trust the people. community too. Yeah, because mm. the community will always like. We were thinking about doing one this Sunday. Like we, it's Wednesday. We could just announce it tonight. And just like, cause like in Maystone, which is the sick town, we yeah. just, should we just fucking announce it? Is yeah, this the pre, is this the pre-access? Like I'm free. So is it, isn't the, We've got to persuade isn't them the girls to stay. Jam this better mm. though? Oh. Fuck. You don't want to clash with that though. No, don't clash with that. <laughs> Make it next weekend. No, that's Saturday. It's fine. We can do Sunday. People can travel down. Double jam. And also if you're in Sheffield on Saturday, realistically, you're probably not going to come down to us. Mm-hmm. We could do it. I don't we know. We just got to persuade them to not go to Paris. That's where they're going. Sorry, mate. Sorry. We'll, we'll look into it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, you guys obviously did like a multi-day event, but I think we as a sort of larger brand team mm. and other people almost have a responsibility to just be like, let's try and get the community together more. Mm. And it takes no more planning than saying here at this time on this day. And then the benefit of it, the kind of net benefit is that if, you know, Joe from down the road turns up and he films some clips, He's not going to refer to it as like, oh yeah, we went training on Sunday. He's going to refer to it as that Motus Jam, mm. even though it was only, you know, a group of people getting together. So right. it kind of helps build us. The brand. Yeah, it helps build the brand, but also it, it makes a, it creates that mm. unity between yeah. people. More, pe- mean, more things in person is really nice as there's well. There's a group called, is it Sunday Super XXL or something I saw recently on London. Like a, there's a London group who are hosting a, a, a jam every single Sunday in a different location. Wow. I don't know how long it's been going. I just saw it on Instagram a while ago. That's pretty cool. And it's like cool because it, I don't know who it is, but it's just, they're There's like- There's one of those in, in in Stockholm as well, but it's like a smaller thing, but they do like a, it's more like an outside session every Sunday or Saturday, but it, they, they mark wow, it as a jam. I nailed the name, Sunday Super XXL. Guaranteed parkour jam training sessions on Sundays at different spots around London. Come join us, open to all. Wow. That's sick. It's that just like really fair cool. play, like, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, slightly off topic, but because you were saying about making videos and then doing jams and you want to like put more focus or like keep the focus on videos as well. Yeah. Um, I've already said this to you, but one thing that I kind of came away with Mm. from the jam, Mm. that was fucking gross. It's my my Pepsi. (laughs) Yeah. It's just like the Kipper videos. Yeah. I just, I love them so much more. Now I know the spots Mm. because I didn't actually know for some reason I didn't know how park or heavy, the Kipper videos are mm. because I think in videos sometimes I just pay yeah. attention to a lot of yeah, the big flips, like flips and yeah. the like creative lines. Yeah, and then the scale. But yeah. some of the like the scale of things is just fucking crazy. Yeah. Like Joel's it's really pre. cool. Yeah, the ru- yeah the running pre. Oh, oh is, is that the one he talks about? Right at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's, it's so, so big. big. It's really? so big, and also like, well, just everyone from Kipper like, is really good. I think people should rewatch most of them, and even if they haven't been to the spots, just pay attention to the movement. I think it's so easy to watch a film and just kind of let it like just yeah. play mm. you're just watching it but yeah i think spots, they're really good they put a lot of effort into it so do you think spots are because sometimes you go to a spot and you're like oh it's smaller than i expected but i'd say would you say that most of the time it's more like humbling do you know what i mean what? It's like i'd say more often than not something is maybe worse than you expected when you go to a new spot <laughs> Like from a video that you've oh, seen. Oh, the spot's worse? Yeah, like, it, I, no, Red, not worse, I mean bigger. Like, bigger, yeah, like, you know Red Bulls, the one that's like kind of English looking brick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That spot when we first went there, it changed over time, but that looked a lot like smaller and just not that great. Oh, uh, okay. If this is kind of what you meant. I, I mean, like, I feel but like- it, But it grew, it was weirdly grew bigger as we trained there more. It's, really it's fucking, there's so really much good. stuff. Like, yeah. Especially I just mean like now. sometimes you'll see a video. And oh, do you mean clips in specific? Yeah, yeah. So like oh, let's okay. say Callum Powell doing a standing pre. And you go there and you're like, oh. You go there and it might be smaller than you think, but I yeah. think more often than not, it's, it's bigger. bigger. It's always yeah. bigger. So I feel like any, especially parkour, like 
without the flips and stuff, scale is always really hard to tell unless you know the spots. That's, I mean, because normally the clip you see is somebody doing it really effortlessly. So exactly. It's like, like, yeah, they get it the way they want to. But I think yeah. just as an overall thing for any park or video you watch, you should just pay attention to what they're doing more. Yeah. Does that make sense? The jumps in themselves. But mm. yeah. It's and really, height, really cool. height's always a fuckery one. Yeah, because like, some yeah. things don't look that tall. Like the bail that... Ethan, did you put it on your story? Yeah. The yeah. one recently yeah. in London. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't look that tall from where you fell. Oh, it looked. But, the, but the his air time. time. That's what I mean. But the actual drop doesn't look that big. But yeah. then he's in the air for so long, yeah. <laughs> and then just slams. Yeah. Um, are you? Are you so yeah. you, have you? You went to the hospital, right? Yeah. And did they they X-ray you? Yeah, they they X-rayed and they said it's either fractured or it's like just a broken blood vessel. Sounds like two very different yeah, things. Yeah, it is, but it's like hard to tell for them, I guess. Yeah. But I, I'm starting to be able to move it, so I think it's nice. It'll be fine. Nice. <laughs> Both wrists just like fried. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. It just suddenly went very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of intimate. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm just wondering. Um, I'm in video head mode now, so like. Yeah. But I didn't know if you want to talk I about the jam more. Video. I'm done yeah. to talk about the jam more. I'm also done yeah. to talk about videos. Whatever you guys mm. want to talk about. Well, fucking go on then. Yeah, whatever you guys want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> when it sound like Keelan wants to talk about something. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I just Next I was hyped point. after seeing all the all the spots. That's kind of, I guess, kind of all I wanted to say. But yeah, I just think you guys put in a lot more effort than people think because they don't always see it. Feels like you have to have such a big online presence nowadays to keep people in the loop to know you still exist. Um, yeah, but like sometimes don't, don't, when you're working on something, it's like you forget that they're still doing shit. Yeah, that like, makes sense. Yeah, I understand. We we don't put out content that often, which is mm -hmm. um, it is we we have like such a high standard of what we want to put out that it's it's hard to like put it out often. But mm. we we do want to get it more consistent. And I said this last time as well. And then we put out like what, two videos since last time. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it is hard, but. Like the, the underground, is it UDG? Yeah, UDG, like underground. I don't know if, you, if you've seen it, but like. The, the, the ones all, yeah, undercover. The last, yeah. the the last one they, yeah, made, yeah. they made where Lester's dislocated elbow clips in it. No, Ooh. I haven't seen it. He just like lazy vaults or whatever it is over a wall and the classic like one hand misses. Uh, and he just disappears. I and then like afterwards he just like. Yeah. On the floor. I think a lot of people think we go out like at nighttime to make it look cool, but like reality is we, you know, we can only go out training after like four because people have work and school yeah. and shit. Yeah. And after four, it's dark. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. winter. Yeah. And it stays dark, mm. and you can't like get go out before because it it doesn't get light until like nine. Yeah. So like the time where it's light, you're bound to work or like school. So mm -hmm. when you were finally like able just, to train, it's just, it's just your dark. Yeah. yeah. So that's how it is. I feel like you guys have enough, going back to your sort of, I mean, even though you maybe don't drop content that regularly, you've built up enough of a foundation that like when it came to this event, you've got, you've got the name, like you've got enough. And I think just because you took those extra steps to make something, even I think honestly, just having the option for some people to have accommodation was probably enough for others to go like, do you know what I mean? Well, 25 places was it? 35 plus 35 places. So it's invited. like, even if you missed out on them or you didn't want to pay for it, you kind of know that, okay, well, this is this is a bit more than just like some guys meeting up. Yeah. yeah. So therefore it's like, oh, fuck it. We'll bring a tent. Like, yeah. We'll, yeah. yeah. And we're definitely like expecting more people for next time. So we'll try to get a bigger gym. I reckon or something. you're in trouble next time. Yeah. Because it's like, you, it's that kind of thing. It's like, now you've done such a good one. And Star made that video as yeah, well. Yeah. I reckon, I reckon you could get kind of be that that might get a bit more stressful <laughs> yeah uh, the, the funny thing we had this megaphone which we brought yeah. everywhere and it was like the oh it's the best thing ever it was the best investment of keep us history like <laughs> it was a little amazing whoop whoop. Yeah. it had a little whoop whoop yeah. and you could record stuff so when we were moving spots hugo would record next to this spot there and oh, then we put it on sick. loop and we would just walk and people would follow the sound that's amazing but yeah we like called out everything like uh, you do the sirens to kind of abrupt so everyone would listen. Yeah. It's like, yo guys, um, the police has said, don't jump on these balls. So don't jump on those. It's just those little things. Those I think. things just kept us out of trouble and yeah. kept the whole thing all very organized. What was the worst thing that happened? Like, do you have Two any people climbed up on like a really, really tall building next to a spot and there was like three police cars and one helicopter that came. Nice. What? Yeah. That's always um, fun. Yeah. You know, and next also to the school with the blue, uh, like blue table tennis. Yes. Yeah. So it was Wait, like that the, spot, the same one I was going to say, that happened and also Mio and his shin. 
Yeah, that was the same time. Yeah, <laughs> me, me also hurt his shin. Like there wasn't the many like that? intense like injuries, but very me, bad shin. <laughs> really. Me, like, bone, had a really bone exposed, yeah, and he was nice. so chill about it. Yeah, we had like and two the, injuries, and it was yeah. that one, and then it was um, was it Jamie from? Oh yeah, he like just Jamie bashed his, uh, yeah, out, like um, just split eyebrow. his eyebrow open, yeah. and oh, it's like I was completely closed from like the but, swelling. Oh, shit. Shit. But they still like they still came to the event right I after know, the hospital so and weird. just walked around. Like it's Mio sick. was just going with the crutches everywhere. Mio had and how many stitches? Not 13. 13. 13 stitches and it was like a proper proper shin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he was just like back out the next day. That's yeah. Just sick. walking around and he was just still happy. Sick. He was at the after party like till like five in the morning. Yeah. Like he was still out and it was just really cool. Nice. So yeah, we didn't have like any major injuries that was like, you know, scary. really scary. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Uh, and I think, yeah, that was the worst thing that like most stressful thing was when the police kind of suddenly like oh are we responsible because it's our event well um, i i told them like if if you get caught like like because they they came down afterwards like thank you for telling us to get down uh, the police came i'm like yeah well you can't <laughs> associate this with the gems yeah, if they exactly. if they catch you guys now like afterwards you can't say that you're a part of this because it will ruin the rest of the weekend yeah. and, and maybe like next year it'll be even worse did you, you know? do any kind of um with locations or council or anything did you like you know speak to anyone no <laughs> no i was going around worried all the time like what, where's the limit to when a riot starts like when do i have yeah, to like, uh, announce this to the police because i thought we were going to be 50 people which i know is fine but like i don't know it's the limit at 100 but i think it's like 300 500 yeah because i guess there are literally things of like unofficial <laughs> gathering suddenly yeah. become something they get classed yeah something yeah else and then you have well, to like report it to the police in before now. it happens and yeah. get approval so i didn't know how many like what the limit was and that's the thing we got to look into for next year if we're going somewhere because it might be bigger and also we don't know if it's like if it's another country what's the law there do we have to apply i do swear in england they just apply? passed that rule of like uh basically like it's like the anti-protest rule and it's like any large gathering that could be seen as causing uh disturbance yeah like a disturbance is like an immediately arrestable thing Mm. Uh, you know the whole like kind of almost the Hong Kong They've mentality of like laws coming well, uh, England know, is off the, the list <laughs> yeah 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 not Hong Kong Japan where it's like it goes from so it's not criminal no it's not civil it's criminal and I think they passed that in England because there were all the protests happening and they were like yeah we'll just you know fuck this off uh, mm, that's I, I could be wrong but they were it's definitely trying to it's so funny when that happens to a jam it won't be but yeah, yeah imagine the same like time. a dagger ween or something like just like, halfway through the jam video if someone makes one it's just everyone just gets arrested in yeah. costume yeah. yeah but yeah it's been um it was still like a good experience and I, I don't think anything like was, there was not like a negative thing that came out of it. I think like everything I felt was positive. Yeah, very inspiring for sure. Cause I think it just proves that like, cause we, I think that's the thing for that. We've obviously had two years off cause of COVID, but before that a lot of the jams were very, very not formal, but they yeah. were very well organized. Yeah. And like, you know, catering, et cetera, et cetera. Catering normally happened around a certain place like that gym would have been like your hub and you would have built a structure there had some street stuff yeah but like, did you ever go to fam jam in germany um i haven't but i want to so like i don't know if it still exists but when i went that like had the indoor setup at the gym everyone slept there but also there were the outdoor things you yeah. paid quite a lot of money to get access because they had the indoor stuff yeah and it was a fucking amazing event yeah. <sighs> most of the event happened outside but then you had this indoor place yeah we but were- it was quite organized yeah we wanted to keep it like yeah we wanted the to street. keep it as a street jam yeah, yeah so yeah. But, but like we wanted to make it like nobody's gonna come for street jam for one day all the cross from like you know the u.s like these guys are you know like um yeah that's quite a fucking long way. yeah or like europe you know like <laughs> yeah we no one's gonna come to sweden just for one day of jam so we got to make it a three-day jam well okay where do people stay well they can figure it out themselves or we can try to accommodate at least a little bit of people, but it was still a lot of people that were like, yeah, I booked my tickets, but it's sold out. So how, what do I do? I'm like, well, you could look up these Airbnbs. Here's some cheap ones I found for you. Blah, 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 Did you get blah. any hate for that? Like, no, I don't think so. I think people understood. I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. I really wish I could take you guys in, but like we're, we're the people who own the gym won't let us have more because the, the it's state it's partially state owned so yeah. they or like it's state owned and they rent it from the state so the state won't allow more people and we need to keep track of every single person in the gym in case of a fire yeah the classic stuff kind, like that yeah. so like more than 50 would have been quite stressful you stayed at joel's right yeah, yeah. yeah but i was meant to stay at the gym yeah uh, a lot of okay. people were meant to stay there like the invited athletes but they didn't so that meant the people that were camping outside could come inside, nice. which yeah, is really yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. Sick. So yeah, it ended up being quite like, it still worked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. Yeah, it was nice as well at being street because I felt 
feels like less claustrophobic. Yeah. Yeah. Like you can just spread out when you want to or disappear to get food or a coffee or something like yeah. that and then come back. Yeah. And it just feels exactly like how training feels, but jam. It's yeah. so much better than oh, like, but so I still jealous. like things like for love movement and things. They're great, yeah. but it's so crazy it's how cramped. much of a different experience it and is it's just like for street jams. You wait five minutes for your line. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, yeah, it's really, really good. I'm so and being jealous. outside as well, I think and it's we just better so energy. we were so lucky with the weather. Oh my God, dude. It was yeah. supposed to rain like Friday and Saturday. It uh, got really? it got it all it out rained, before, it right? Rained, yeah, the rain moved from Friday to Friday, like night to Saturday. So Sick. it rained and then we just delayed the Saturday set up with like one hour. Yeah. And that worked perfectly for the yellow walls. Nice. Uh, and the yellow walls is like the rounded. Yeah, and it was yeah, quite, that like, sick. It's quite hard to get there. Uh, not hard, but it's like far out from central. So um, Metro is pretty good. Though. Metro is very fast, but it's still like still far out. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like 25 minutes from central, but most people weren't staying in central. So they yeah. had to go to central to, yeah, whatever. Uh, Slurson. Slussen is like, yeah, close to central. Well, T-Central, yeah. T-Central is These the, names. But most telephone people know plan. Slussen, Telephone plan. The one called Telephone Plan. Yeah. Metro station. It means like, um, plan is like, would be like plane, I guess. Yeah. Like, not like as an airplane, but yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And telephone is obviously Just funny. Like, hmm. um, but yeah, we, uh, that, that was good. And I think Instagram story, we were like telling people the, the first day, like we will announce any news, any changes of plans on our Instagram. So just keep like, yeah. A look out there if you if, if you're at the spot and we're not there like, look at the instagram story you'll see where we i think at. and that's what you need like i i felt from you know sitting at home fairly informed about basically what was going on that day and what happened and i wasn't you know fucking refreshing every two minutes mm -hmm. but i would catch up in the evening and get quite a kind of like oh sick so they've gone here this happened oh and mm -hmm. the comp's happening there and it's like you know yeah easy to follow it's enough like i think people can you don't need to print out have a booklet. yeah they have a mind of their own <laughs> I, i'm very much like that though i want everything like do, 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 you know yeah but to a certain Parkour extent doesn't we gotta, work like no that. it doesn't as it's, much as you try and put it in a box <laughs> it just it doesn't so yeah. leaving joel's house and i think time. we accepted that and we're just like yeah we're, it's not gonna yeah it's not gonna be like that yeah you guys turn up late every day yeah, it's it so funny such late starts i mean so you guys hard. turned up fucking what well, well, 10 today? Quarter, no, 10? Oh, wait, 10. Uh, quarter we woke 12. up at 10. <laughs> quarter 12 we got I here. fell asleep at 4.40. Yeah, last I've slept wow. like six hours. I'm so dead. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell. Yeah, last you were like, days, like we'll try, yeah, what time did you get in last night? Not that late. We, we came here like at 11, no, 10. We were here at 10. So really late because I was in bed by 10. No, yeah, yeah, I usually am, but not when I'm we traveling. We were here till like one, I Yeah, think. Watching Soul and like stuff like that. Sick. Uh... <laughs> How's, should we fucking, people we keep getting asked about. Hudson, are you all right? Do you have a question? He's had his arm up in the air for so long. Because he's a kid. He's 13. He thinks he's in school. He's He's been sick <laughs> on his phone. Do you want to, do you want to say something? Why, why is your arm up in the air? <laughs> I don't know. He's literally, <laughs> he's sat on the sofa people for the last like five this. minutes like this. <laughs> so confused. Um, yeah, we keep getting asked about Soul. Yeah. It's coming out in less than a month. We decided, yeah, yeah. We, we decided decided on it yesterday. It is done, pretty it's much. It's done, yeah. It's just, it, it, yeah. It's very good. Marketing assets. Um, I, I need to apparently grade it. Terrified. Charles is grading it, yeah. And do some audio bits. Trailers that we need to do some extras bits and stuff like that. Sam's literally cutting trailers right now. But also there's some things like uh, Ethan and some others, well, most people here, they, they saw some sections without music. Mm, yeah, Sam told me. And... I think we're going to try and take some music out of some of the sections, which, which might make it quite an acquired taste for some bits. Take out the music that we have I really, to pay for. And then that's no, safe. one of them is. Yeah, <laughs> one of them is the song. <laughs> Saves us money. It's like a hundred <laughs> quid for it. But it, it just feels a lot nicer without the music. Like you can see the parkour more and the sounds are actually really good on some yeah. of it. Just the one thing that I get every time I watch it now is like, I feel like I'm just going, oh, song. Another song, another yeah. song, and it's a bit much. Formulaic, yeah. yeah. And also some of it is just a bit over the top with like what we're talking about, which just doesn't need to be. Oh, uh, okay. I think yeah. it's very well paced though. I showed my mum the trailer that Sam did mm. and she liked that. She was like, oh, this is good. Oh. She, I don't think she realised that like, you know, it had substance because I wasn't involved and therefore she hasn't seen, it's not like I've shared anything with her. Yeah. All she knows is when like there's a film and she's like, when's the film coming out? When's the film coming oh, out? wow. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that'll be out and then. Yeah, well, basically, we're we're very aware that Queen City is coming out on the fifteenth. Uh, should we just? I mean, our proposed date is the twenty second. That's Proposed what. 20, are, like, are we gonna be doing a screening or anything? 
Or is that just not going to be able to happen? I don't know. I don't because know. we can in How Five, that's what Nico said. Yeah, but when? Was that date that you had specific? Or? I think he just said, as long as we give him some notice, like well, maybe we, we try and do a, Maybe we try and do a screening that weekend. That gives a lot, us a a bit lot more of people time. wanted to come Wait, to the jam. Wait, 15th? No, the, so Queen City. 22nd. So oh, we could have a jam July. and a screening, sell some clothes. I know. So that would be that would be a month. That would be the 22nd. So it'd be the 23rd and 24th of July. Mm. It's also the time that you're supposed to be going to America. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Still need to sort that out. Shit. Yeah. Um, either way, basically, to anyone listening, we're very aware that Queen City is coming out on the 15th. We're also very aware that Seoul is well overdue. So we want to get out of this month, but we don't want to really, like, put any, you know, take away from Queen City. So we'll do some pre-hype, like, in the next couple of weeks. But once Queen City's come out, kind of 15th onwards, we'll then start pushing a bit harder. Mm. Uh, but if you, I'm sure you, anyone who's listened, listening right now would have listened to the one with Max and Christine, but you need to support that film because it's fucking incredible from what I've seen of it. And, yeah, it's uh, very good. Yeah, that's coming out on the 15th. And they're doing a premiere in Denver. I think it is on the 12th, I think. Um, <coughs> there you go. But yeah, it's, it's tricky because it's like, fuck, two films coming out in the same month and basically a week apart. Yeah. But we kind of, we just have to we from need a, to get ours out. from a time and money and everything aspect. Two's better than one anyway. Yeah. Hopefully we can, we can, you know, get the double package, yeah. get both for 10 pounds. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you doing then? What's your next, what's your next big keeper? Um, Keeping up we, keep. we've done a, so basically we did our first like, um, joint product project. We've done like future parts for people that were like in Sweden and stuff like, um, and had like have them had a part of our yeah, videos yeah. and have, you know, a p- actual part, like, you know, their own little section, uh, like Mons has been in both Berlingo and robots, but then like quality control, we had, um, Matar yeah. quite short, but it was like still good. And Miranda. So for, for now we've done a shorter project where we flew to Riga for 10 days. Oh, you fucking did. Yeah. And we, uh, we flew out, um, and paid for Yako Tombalani, which is Pilgrim Witch Finder Instagram. You might oh know. yeah. The man is insane. So, so basically yeah. everything you did is just nothing in comparison to yeah. him. Yeah. You're like, hey, I found a Kong Pri and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so he, um, yeah, he absolutely killed it. So we had him and then we had Sophia from Germany Sick. who's staying at in Stockholm right now. So we flew her out as well. So basically we paid for their um, flights and uh, accommodation. How and was it like, was that a bit of nostalgia from any of sort of Pasha and um, no, Oleg. we didn't go to like that because they obviously the we were, we were there, like but. our guide throughout the whole week was like uh, Stas. So Stas ah, okay, yeah. was everywhere. He came with the car every morning. Sick. We were always like a little bit laid out. He was like, "Guys, you're too slow." <laughs> and then we got in the car, like six people in a car, six seven people in a car driving, like five seater by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Driving to like the spots. Uh, on like shitty, shitty Latvian roads. And it was really funny. And then we got to the spots, we trained, we filmed as much as we could. And then we, maybe if we had time, we ne- went to the next one. But yeah, we filmed a lot of stuff. Um, I spent three hours on one thing. Nice. And it, yeah, I'd never got it like as clean as I wanted, which pisses me off. It's just a Rudy. It's always right. annoying. Yeah, it's just like a single a new Rudy. Kinda, yeah. No. <laughs> No, it's like a, it's like a wall flip move. It's really, I showed you it on my phone. Mm -hmm. You know, the one where I go like, there's two walls and. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I have to rewatch it. Um, But yeah. And um, we had just a really good, really good week there. And um, hopefully we're going to put that out first. I think we're going to prioritize the street jam video just because it needs to be relevant. Yeah, definitely. And then after that, we'll probably put out the Riga video, but it was just cool to be able to fly people out and pay for their yeah flight and accommodation. We paid for like our own, like I paid for my own flight, Joel paid for his own flight, but then keep us money went to the athletes we invited in. We yeah. want to do more of that. So uh, I think we asked you to come out, didn't we? I was going to, but we've been doing yeah. Seoul, so. So we want to we want to be able to like get more people. It was very short notice to be fair, but we want to be able to fly more people out be so or cool. uh, just like get them more involved in projects. And obviously it's hard to pay at the same time, but like we've always been able to pay for our own flights. So then these people that we want to get in projects, like it would be cool to just be able to get them just at cover least that, yeah, cover yeah, that. Yeah. I know they have to take time off of work. So like, it would be amazing if we could pay for it as well, but the more right you do now, it, yeah, 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 I think when it grows, system, I think eventually we want to be able to like, yeah, fly someone out, do the thing, cover them for the time, cover yeah. and may pay them. Like obviously maybe not full salary. Cause that shit is really like, it's hard, Yeah, yeah, yeah. but eventually just be able to pay them like a couple hundred, you know, just so they're not losing money. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's exciting. 
Fuck, yeah, what was I going to cool. say? And then we're hopefully filming a big, we're going to start filming for a big project when I come back for Sweden. I think the other, other guys are already started filming. Sick. But, uh, another full length. Another full length, yeah. yeah. And then, we, yeah, we have some cool ideas. Uh, but it's all, you know, long, long plans. Yeah. And it yeah, might not it. come this year and might come next year. Like you, we don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's exciting. Yeah. That's so cool. I was going to say something about Regan. Yeah. <laughs> we need to do something for sure. Two are pointing yeah. at each other as if they've got plans. Maybe we do. Maybe we maybe, do. Or maybe we're about to have plans. Exactly. Maybe we're just dating. We need to plan the plans. We need yeah. to plan the plans. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Are you still working at the school? Yeah. yeah. So you've still, got... Still working at the school. Is it holidays right now? Uh, well, I work whenever I kind of want to. So I'm a substitute. Uh, so they ask me to uh, come in and I'll say like, oh yeah, I, right now I can't. Yeah. Uh, so they, want, they ask me like, so how much do you want to work this summer? I'm like, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, probably not going to work this summer at all. So. Yeah. But um, so right now I'm not working at all, which means like zero income. But you can go back to it. I can go back can you, to it. Can you bang out loads of hours? Like just before summer, can you be like, I'm just going to work as much as possible, yeah. save money and then just not work? Yeah. The annoying thing like, about hours is like, you can't really change the length of an hour, can you? So it's like, it's so time consuming. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you'll be there for such a... I don't know. I can't be there like eight hours, nine hours every day for like two weeks. I'll yeah. just get so yeah, angsty. Course. So of I'll course. do like four days maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm just like pretty okay with saving money. So every month, like even if I make like, let's say 400 quid that month, but then like 600 that one, I'll still save like 400 from that month and 300 or 200. Yeah, from that. Yeah. So the, I'll, it'll add up until summer and then summer it kind of goes out. That is the perfect job because it's like, it's so hard to find part-time work that allows you to take time off yeah. and then go back to it. Yeah. Like it's, it's very easy to find any job. Mm. Yeah, well, it's just the demand is so high. Yeah. But, uh, unfortunately, the pay doesn't like match the demand. Like there's so many people, they need so many teachers, but then obviously the pay is not good enough to interest people to become a teacher. Yeah. Uh, but the pay is enough for me. And yeah, but I still live at home. I pay very, very little rent, like yeah. I pay 10%. Wait, so if like, I mean, it's fucking boring for the podcast people, but like, <laughs> Sarah's obviously, I mean, she's like assistant head teacher of a school, so it's a bit different. But even if she was just a teacher, like what a standard teacher of mm. a class of, let's say, four year olds in Sweden, are mm. they getting paid fuck all? No, it's not bad. It's just like the standard of like the, the, the price of living in Sweden is quite high. Yeah, true. Compared to yeah. other countries. I'm not sure. Like I'm not that informed of the world economics and shit like that, but... I would assume, like, you, we still make a good amount of... Uh, yeah, because England, like, I mean, you don't get paid loads as a teacher at all, but, mm. you know, it's an adult wage. Like, yeah, it's, you, yeah, get, yeah, paid, no, you it, get paid, it's not like a teenage job kind of thing. Like, no, no, you get paid, like, an, uh, an adult wage, just, like, not a lot compared to other jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, like yeah. Like working for a pot gold brand. Yeah, man. Ooh, money. Um, I'm rich, man. Yeah. <laughs> With experience and joy. Yeah. That was probably the most boring, like, financial bit of the podcast that we've ever done. I quite enjoy Talking about the teacher financial salaries. Ones, like, oh, I, yeah, yeah. I really like it, but that's just because I have an interest in financial things. Yeah, so. a switched on lad. Mm -hmm. um, anything else we should dive into before Ethan's fingers fall off or he falls asleep? I'm not sure. What a happy guy. I like your hat. Thank you. Is it actually like, you're going to release it? No. No. <laughs> that's I, just, I just had fun sewing it. Don't don't fucking make yeah, did it. You sew it. You sewed it yourself. I sewed the hat myself. No, you sewed the north thing yeah. into it. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. It looks cool. I don't know what else there is to say. I mean, I'm excited to to see what the future holds and do, do more projects with more people mm -hmm. that is not part of Keepa. Like work with Keepa with other things. Like we want to do something with you guys, obviously, and. Mm. Uh, that we've been that's been on the talks for like a little bit. Yeah, I feel like we always mention it and then <laughs> we we'll actually do, yeah. it will happen. Actually, do something. I mean, yeah. we should sit down after this and kind of just talk it through at least our, for our thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you too, definitely. But yeah, we we um, I'm just excited to see what it's, I'm so excited because August is so filled with jams. There's there's on the spot. I th think for love first, right? Which crashes with NAPC, which is like a shame. Yeah, which one are you going to? I'm probably going to For the Love, most yeah. likely, because I will go into On the Spot, which is like a week after. Yeah. And it just feels weird to go to like, what, where's Canada. It? Canada. <laughs> and it's also like 900 euros to go there back and forth, yeah. which is quite expensive. And I don't know anyone there, so I don't know if I have accommodation. And then yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just like a, a lot of things that... Uh, Whereas for the love moments, like... Yeah. Classic. But I think I, I would really like to participate in skill because ever since Nova City... I've just like wanted to do more yeah, skill competitions. Yeah, you'd, you'd kill skill to be fair. Like mm -hmm. you'd do really well. But 
Yeah. Um, Matthias <laughs> Matthias brought out his husband just knocked his fucking head. last night he did the same yeah. you know the my bed frame that yeah. your dad made I don't know whether he was like looking on his phone because it was charging and then he went to just sit back down on just the bed and did the classic like whiplash but hit the metal rim of Fuck. the bed it was so hard um, stupid the yeah, August is just going to be spot. crammed which is cool this is, yeah. Yeah. yeah for the love on the spot and then on the spot goes into the is it swings and stuff I don't know. I was going to say that if people want to check out what jams are coming out, Matthias made that jam thing. Calendar. Did you see that? There's a jam calendar. No, I didn't. It's see actually that. really good. Really? Yeah. There's so many in Germany. Yeah. There's so yeah, many Germany, jams. Germany is like. It's popping off in it's this summer. It's really They're good, good for parkour. They're good at that. Yeah. But Fun. yeah, you should check that out because I feel like this year, yeah, jams are just coming out mm. all over the place. For I'm sure. So and sad. there's so many. It's in <laughs> September as well. Like there's just going to be so much to go to and I'm going to try to go to every single one. Yeah. I'm going to be and lucky bet, if I get to one. Between that, I'm going to Well, we just fill. make our own ones so yeah. that you can join in. It's like... Daisy loves jams. Oh, it's so tough. Like I love Daisy so much, but it's like, when you look, you've had these two years of nothing yeah. and it's like, oh, perfect time to have a kid. And then the minute mm. we have a kid, it's then the world reopens and I'm like, ah. We're going to have a little play pen so, at the workshop Literally. Now. And, and a... What's the thing that was here? A travel cot. A travel cot. As Mondays well. and Fridays, I'll be in now because I've been Mondays and Fridays. I've been working from mm. home for the last few months, but we're going to be bringing Daisy in and putting her in a little. Going to train her up. Yeah. Yeah. Have her jumping off the med scene. Yeah. Um. I can't remember what I was going to say. Fuck. Yeah. There's so many events. Yeah. And I really want to go to all of them. Mm-hmm. But I think it's, it's yeah, it's going to be interesting and a lot a lot of new parkour bands that have grown in the last two years. So yeah. Are definitely going to like make make such an impact to the sport. It feels like a lot of stuff's like, yeah, been bubbling for the last two years. Yeah. And now this summer's like everyone it's kind of, out. It, it, yeah, putting, putting, putting the work in. Which I, love I love it. So I much. love it. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Completely irrelevant. Yeah. Um, only because we, you were talking about being excited for the future. Uh, Cause we've never spoken about the fucking film festival mm. um, on the podcast. Are you going to submit anything for that? Cause you can. I, I, yeah. Um, Technically, a long form keeper piece would be applicable because. Depends on. This, 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 what, what's the theme again? It's a long form piece, and the only uh, thing. The only the only category is mm. it's it's a long form piece, 15 to 30 minutes, and it just has to give off a vibe of connection. Connection. That's it. And that's very subjective then? That's very subjective. It could be a fucking documentary about the keeper jam. It could be. Uh, it could uh, be the keep an, action, video. an action piece. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like uh, we want to keep it really, really open and just and just basically push for long form content. Yeah. Um, but th- the reason I was going to mention it is I'm currently just finalizing talks with two more sponsors and also a new judge as well, um, who I won't announce the judge yet. But the new sponsors I'm in talks with Strike Movement, who are giving some very, very generous shit, and GoPro. So that's sick. Yeah. So the sponsor list will continue to grow over the next few months. Um, and for the listeners, when's the last date to submit? You, submissions don't open until I think the end of August mm. or the start of September. And then it runs for a couple of months and then it's like late November, they close. And then we'll have a few weeks for judging and then we'll announce that stuff late in December. Oh, there so, you go. But yeah. Woo-hoo. Submit your videos. I want to see start, more long start, form. Yeah, start filming your videos. Like we want people to utilize this summer because it's like if there's all these fucking events happening, mm. you could make a 15 to minute, 15 to 30 minute piece about going to all these jams and capturing a vibe. Yeah, and a lot of people like, have been doing more long piece videos. Exactly, and like we all we want to do is just basically in, not inspire that, but promote that, yeah. like motivate that. So yeah. it was cool because at the jam there were so many people that had like you know big big fucking chunky cameras with mini DVs. <laughs> like so many people like kind of film like how how we've been doing it, which is really cool to see. And then it's um and like how other like there's the new new kind of wave i feel like a generation where people are like bringing these um big cool cameras and filming like movement i don't really know what i'm trying to say you mean these fuckers yeah like a lot of people were bringing like really big Hudson, cameras. pass me this thank you like this is it's not actually that heavy is it no oh it's so big it's yeah. such an it it's so funny video quality is so interesting because it yeah. doesn't it's not it's like because. old, but it is old. Yeah. It's really, it's, cause it's like 720p, isn't it? 720? Yeah, 720, 60. Yeah. yeah. I really like it. Yeah. It's really cool. It's just cool to see so many people like kind of experiment with their filming and movement. And I think a lot of people are doing a lot more 
long piece forms because I would hear him talks at the jam like, oh yeah, we're doing this new video we've been filming for like months. Like, oh yeah, shit. That's yeah, so yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. And that's so I think so you guys nice are going to have a- Rather than here's a fucking Instagram yeah. video. Yeah, just keep like pushing the mm. film festival. You're going to have a lot of submissions. Yeah, sure. hopefully. And I think the judges like, are going to hate me. A lot of people in general are moving towards, doesn't even have to be old cameras, but just like video cameras rather than like DSLR or like Cam digital- cameras. Yeah, like camcorders. Yeah, yeah camcorders are so fun. those more dad cams. Even dad yeah, cams. dad cams because I don't know. I think capturing parkour on them is kind of. I it mean, can be kind of similar to when you're filming on phone. Yeah, like you really just focus on like filming the parkour in the best way. We've possible. said for years, like since being in the wind when we bought that first dad cam. Yeah, it's just like it because you just pick it up and record, and it forces you to basically only think about how am I going to make this shot look as good as possible from probably a single shot, mm. yeah. rather than like, I'm going to put this wide angle on, then I'm going to go put this thing on, yeah. da, da, which is, to be honest, when I shot, I got given a A7 Mark III in Greece, Red Bull like just rented some cameras, and I haven't, I haven't did shot- Did you find it quite fiddly? Yes, not? but also I did fucking love it. Oh, you really Like it, yeah. there was this refreshing element of, holy shit, I just put this footage on my computer and it is like, so it looks really nice. Fucking lovely to look yeah, at. And yeah. for with like color grading and things, you can do so much like yeah, the, the image. You've got so much light as well. At that so, place, I yeah, guess. The, the image is mm. so much better. Mm. Filming parkour wasn't necessarily easier. I, all I did was stick a wide angle on the gimbal, which to mm. be fair, I haven't done in ages because gimbals aren't that easy with those. Because mm. um, you just need that like wide angle. Mm. But it was refreshing, but I do, I mean, yeah, I love, I, I just like how it looks as well. It stops feeling too much like a music video or an edit and you feel like you're watching the just parkour. someone's, yeah, someone's park or just someone's tape, which yeah. is really nice. Yeah. But it's always nice because there's so like people doing videos in a different way, like how you used to do with these laws and then there's GoPro. So like, it's nice to have the mixture. We can kind of switch back and forth. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Like I don't like. I'm, sometimes I just love going back and like looking at street media Europe tour when like it's just like glossy footage of the DSLRs and it's just like it's so nice and refreshing to look at sometimes because sometimes yeah. that can obviously get boring wow, as well. Wow, this eyepiece yeah. is insane. <laughs> it's so loose. Yeah. It's so like tiny. It's like looking down a tunnel to a tiny little screen. <laughs> That's so sick. It's cool when you zoom. Can you see the lens? It's like. Just but no, not the lens. Sorry, on the barrel. Oh, yeah, the, the, the yeah, it's yeah, yeah, spinning. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah, nice. There you go. Um, we got anything else to talk about? I don't know. I'm trying to think of what's happening things right that now. Happened. What's happening right now? I don't know. There's what a right now? infrastructure holding some jams around the UK, which mm. there's been a little bit of controversy about because they are doing a drunk competition. Mm. Thoughts. A drunk competition. Uh, it's like an alcoholic skill comp, I think they're calling it. And it's like, you they set a challenge. And then I think if you don't do it in one go, you have to take a shot. Or if you do do it, you have to take a shot. Or something. Where is it? In a gym, did you say? Bristol. It, yeah, that seems out, about right. Outside? <laughs> Bristol, full stop. That just seems... Yeah. I don't know about seems that. Right. Yeah, I'm a little bit like, is it the weird kind of... In, not in Like those sort like of the, things can be fun at like after parties and stuff like that in gyms mm. and things. But I just worry about people getting just... Really it's just a strange thing up. to be like, yeah. to not enforce, to like just support, support, put rules around it yeah. and be like, oh, this this is actually a thing. Yeah. Like drinking is great. I love drinking. But at the same time, I, we were saying right before this podcast, if you make it part of like, you may, if you make a vice part of your identity or a brand identity or an event identity, it can maybe come across as a bit I cringe. just find it a bit lame sometimes. Yeah. To be fair. Like putting smoking in your videos or drinking in your videos and stuff like that. To when it's like, it, it feels like it tries too hard. It's like, can mm. Stella, now I'm doing a fucking Kong Pri yeah. or whatever. Like. To be um. fair, I was at this uh, like tricking event like one or two years ago, which is called in Sweden called Battle of Borga. It's more like a shit event. Like it's not like, it's not supposed to be like the most serious event. It's just supposed to be like a gathering. And basically, yeah, they all just drink this beer called Alburga. Mm. And then you see a battle of Burger. So you just drink the beer and then you do tricking. And it's like, the beer is like 10.2%. Nice. What the fuck? Like, yeah, what? yeah, strong, dude. Is it those big cans? Yeah, like, big fuck cans. Me. I bought one of them in Germany, right? Yeah. This fat old can from a- Oh, you probably bought like the the, the really fat one. like Yeah, like whatever it's called. giant can. Yeah. And it was, I think like 12.8% or something like crazy. And I drunk it one night and I thought, I basically felt like I just necked a bottle of wine. Yeah. It was mad. I was like, what the fuck? That's yeah, yeah, and yeah. beer is just beer is anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. But they, it, was, it was fun to look at. And like a lot of the trickers were like, they would just do the most ridiculous shit they could while drinking the beers. And then it land. And then like one guy did like 
I don't remember what it was. He did like some tricky move, and then he took the thing, like crushed it to his head, and then drank the whole thing. It was really oh entertaining God. to look at. <laughs> I think if some of things like that happen organically, yeah, yeah. and or, or are very loosely put together, mm. and they kind of just develop over time, like you know how like Nova City in the evenings after the event, normally people fuck about in the gym, and like mm. like, like this. Time, I think it's like a people lot different in a gym environment. Yeah, mm. but people get really drunk sometimes, yeah. and like they box or they or they train or not mm. train, but like they trick. Mm. Or they have like it's usually on the floor where there's less height, so there's less. Yeah, yeah, it's normally it on the floor. It just feels a bit more silly, and so it's that's fun. why I'm like, thinking it's just like, like that feels very fun and unstructured. But I feel yeah. like the second you structure it, it's a bit like, okay, now guys, take a shot. And yeah, it's like <laughs> it's also the skill, like making a skill comp. If it's not, if it's like above waist, mm. it'll be very dangerous with alcohol. It's like, oh yeah, I lost my two front teeth because I was taking part in a skill competition where we had to do shots but I, I regardless I think they're going to have fun and it'll yeah. be entertaining to look at but I would not participate <laughs> and, yeah. myself and that's just our opinion yeah <laughs> we're just boring and old or at least what, you're what? old yeah it was yeah, in Bristol you're not old Bristol yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah. there's also um, I don't know if we missed it now uh, the mental health thing that no we haven't missed it and I actually spoke to Chris the other day and he said we should sign up yeah uh, I just that, don't know if we'll it's, content, it's contenders jam it's kind of jam yeah. let me look it up right now because I actually he wanna... messaged me as well I just forgot to reply sorry Chris <laughs> sorry but yeah there's that coming up uh, it'll be, be kind of nice why is the internet being so fucking slow I think it's Hudson just always on his phone yeah he has like 20 tabs open on his computer one of those national first aid Brighton, 14th to 15th of July. We haven't missed it, and you're here, mm. so we could do it. Nice, 14th, 15th. Um, I what, need a what wee. Is, what is it? It's so there's content. There's a uh, I think Parkour UK or in in collaboration with another company, Parkour UK, are running like a two day training course mm. on like helping other people dealing with mental health. Uh, but prior to that, or on the same day, prior to that, I think Contendent are hosting like a jam that is also raising money for, um, I think it's Mind. That's great. It's like a charity. That's really cool. Because Callan's, yeah. Callan's doing a lot for that at the moment. Yeah, so. he's, he's, he's great. And yeah. uh, it was fun. Like I, I listened to all your podcasts and the one you were doing with uh, Parkour UK was really informative. Sick. But holy shit, like the accent is so strong. I had <laughs> such a hard time sometimes. <laughs> like I couldn't, like I just started listening like late at night. And I was like, no, I'm, I need to be more like focus. attend for yeah. this. Yeah. But yeah, I find it really informative and it's cool when you guys have guests on. Well, us English people think the same about your Swedish accent, so. Yeah. Is it bad? No. <laughs> Yours is actually it's very so fucking, fine. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised. It's completely fine. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Good, good. good. Yeah. It's gotten more American. Like it, I've always thought it's quite American. A lot yeah. of. I find Don't you switch your, like, do you switches, find when you're. Yeah, depending on who you're talking to. Because yeah, I kind of do it slightly sometimes by accident. But. It just got more American because obviously I'm spending time with these guys. These but boys. also my girlfriend is, you know, uh, German-American. Yeah. So, like, I speak with her every day and that'll be quite, you know, I'll speak American English. Yeah. Which is... Hey, honey. <laughs> don't <babe>. say that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's like... Um, you know, when you did your 10 questions, you said your favorite shoes, you the Frank shoes. I noticed you are now rocking new for He's got the new ones. What do you think? They're yes. very light, right? They're, They're very, very light. light. Yeah. Quite smelly now. Um, do you like them? I like them. The sole is, remains like my favorite sole ever. Yeah. Like it's so good. It's white, which is kind of weird because most people, it looks like it's foam. Absolutely fine. I, I like a white sole. But um, yeah, it looks, I think. For some reason, the white makes it feel like it's going to be really slippery. Oh no, maybe yeah, I don't. But it's, but it's really not. good. So the gripping. thing is like the old one is the same, like from bottom here. So, um, it would be white here, but then black here, which yeah, made it look okay. like kind of glued in. But now since it's all white, it kind of makes it all look like more whole, which is cool. Um, and then, yeah, this is just very like light. And it the the thing with the old ones were like, they took a time to break in, but once they were broken in, they were really fitted. Yeah, These uh, don't take that long to like fit in like a two, two days, I think. And it was like, they were sitting on my foot comfortably. Sick. And even then, like I, these were a little bit too small fitted for me. Uh, like no, I, I wear a size UK these um, eight. eight. Yeah. So, but they they were just like a little bit too tight. So what I do when I have too tight shoes, usually you'd buy them a little bit too tight, and then you microwave them for uh, like 30, 40 seconds. This, yeah. So they're warm, and then you put them on, and you run around like a maniac. Yeah. And then usually they get kind of. Have you tried them, Kim? I have put them on. Yeah. Do you like they're, what do you think? Yeah, I like the feeling of the bottom. Like they're really grippy, and yeah. also they are already broken in. 
but like I'm just super picky with shoes that well, I've like I've worn these like four times the yeah, rubber you're very picky yeah, the rubber like comes out on the middle bit so my feet don't go all the way together which for some reason bothers me yeah. but like yeah I'm just super picky with shoes I noticed Archie in Greece had he'd already torn this mm. I yeah guess it's a lot I, I wonder thinner. how long that'll last but we'll yeah, see but I yeah. feel that I like mm -hmm. them and I've uh, been wearing them like yeah, four times with like four like long day session. Yeah, I, I I've been switching back and forth because I'm I'm writing like a little blog for them like this compared to the old one. Uh, so I'm switching every other session. So like every other session I'm doing this, and then every other session I'm doing the old one. So I'll yeah, get like yeah. a really good overview and um, mm -hmm. basically just like a really I I want to write an authentic and good rather than just up. like a these are great. Yeah, yeah. But so yeah. far I've been liking them. They were a little bit small fitted, so. I'd recommend microwaving them and just get your proper size microwave and then put them on. But if that doesn't suit you, then you can also do like a half size up. Yeah. Uh, what I like about them is also they're more affordable. Like the last ones were like a hundred something, 105, yep. 110. These are like $65. Yeah, that is a big difference. So it's a big difference. and makes it a lot more affordable for people to try out parkour shoes, which yep. is cool. So the store tents were also quite cheap. So like around 60 something, yep. I think, 60 quid. But yeah, um, I like them, and the sole is really nice. The grip is like the grippiest shoe I've ever had. Yeah, like, I do. They really do like wonders on skill comps. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Sick. That's a shoe review. Yeah, you should bring back shoe reviews. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what's what's, uh, what's left? I don't we, know. I, don't I desperately know. need a wee, so I'm getting a bit like yeah. And before angsty. we put a camera in Hudson and Ethan's face and make them do ten questions. Oh. If anyone wants to edit 10 questions for me for free, <laughs> do you want to do it, Keelan? Yeah, man, sure. You don't I love it, do you? No, I'm definitely not doing it. I've got that. two or maybe three. I haven't actually looked at We We filmed with Rachel and it started raining and that, fuck me, the comments on Toby's one. Really? Because of the audio? Because the roof flexes, right? The metal, when it gets hot and the, 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 the sheeting, you can hear like, mm. kum, kum, kum. Yeah. if you look and look at the audio, they're like, he's because it's got like 100K views or whatever. They're like fucking unprofessional. Like somebody's making noise in the background. To be fair, Darwin is also making noise yeah, in the background. Yeah. But I'm like, fuck. So we're like, not professional though. It's a really good. But the one. Rachel, we're, Rachel we're one, there was like this downpour of rain, like halfway mm. through, and I was like listening to the audio, like fuck. I don't know if we can use this. Mm. But I need to edit, and I just have no drive to edit ten questions recently because they're so boring <laughs> to do. No offense to anyone. teach blogging. It's just so repetitive. Like it's just cutting the same fucking like. Mm -hmm. So was it a quick process? Mm, yeah, but then you got to do subtitles. I don't know why we do subtitles, but I decided we were going to for the videos. I think it's really nice. <laughs> yeah, it is nice, really and nice. that's the long bit because you have to go through and correct. They, they auto subtitle, and then you have to go and correct all the grammar and shit. And it's just well, like yeah, it's, it's just that extra effort that makes them like and more enjoyable. Yeah, the same with like the subs. background. Like you could just do an interview like against the white wall, but like the background, yeah, the yeah, 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 the, yeah, the whole scenery, the, yeah. the walking in. Oh, the I, whole process I, is just I really know. nice. It just I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and you got a great song yeah. yeah fuck and do the audio pass yeah have fun with that yeah do you like grading I don't hate it I haven't graded something this long in a long time mm. and I also haven't I don't know how well it's all gonna blend together because yeah. of different cameras and things not well at all I'm really so. curious how it is to like do a one hour project like because I've only done like on the tracks was like 10 minutes every time but obviously mm. it added up to like 70 minutes of editing it's but like I haven't no. done the Keeper videos, that's Lester and they're like half an hour. On the, on the tracks would be, I guess, similar to Spitting in the Wind, which actually is a really good entry to long form stuff because mm. you kind of build out a long form project the same way. Yeah. And then you've got to like put the glue in, right. if you know what I mean. Yeah, and, yeah. But obviously you don't want it to feel like section filler, section filler, section filler. Mm -hmm. But long form projects do kind of have that same yeah. feel. Because mm. you'll have sections and you'll be like, like, you would never edit a long form project and start on one timeline. You'd always mm. like build out separate yeah. timelines and build from there. I've mm. kind of just stepped back from the filmmaking. I film a lot still, but I was kind of stepped back from the whole like editing thing because you just, Lester's just too good at it. Yeah. So I've just let him, like, he, he's his magic. Let him do that, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's sick. You can focus on the other stuff, clothing yeah. and shit. Though. Yeah. Business. Printing t shirts Business for 24 work. hours. Yeah, it's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> like, you were sit I was sitting up like a, we were at Joel's house. I was sitting like 1 a.m. Just like, yeah, guys. Yeah, he went into business mode one night. Fully just like... <laughs> in what way? His, I don't know. Just like, I'm going back to Joel's. You guys can come or not. I don't care. I'm just going to go. I need to do stuff. And you just like zoned in. To I this. like that though. That's good. Because he's doing website shit. Yeah. 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 Kind of like how you... That's very you good do stuff. All right. Mm. All right. Should we wrap this up? Yeah. Finish it up. Uh, basically, Ethan wants the music 
stops, then you just hit that little record button again. Wicked. Yeah. He knows his thing. Yeah. Uh, people should be following Kipper already. Yeah. Um, but if they're not, that's strange. You fucking idiots. And you can go follow them. Just type in, is it just Kipper Magazine on Instagram? On Instagram, it's Kipper Magazine. Keeper magazine. On YouTube, it's Kipper. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, and you can find probably all of them individually through that as well. Yeah, do yeah for sure. And stuff. We'll do some links. Yeah. Uh, film Festival, make some films, submit yeah. all the details We're on our website. We're releasing some new stuff very, very soon, plus existing stuff on the website, collaborations with Biffy Hippie and Camilla. Actually, most of the Camilla crew next are gone, I think. But um, Jam also potentially this weekend. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, might we'll work not, it out. Might, might happen. And yeah. And Soul coming out at some point. Yes, 22nd is happening. All right. Love you lots. Bye. Bye. Bye.